In this video, I'm going to show you how to cut more than 90% of electricity consumption caused by your washing machine at home. In the next few minutes, I will introduce 8 tricks to cut down your utility bill caused by your washing machine. At the end, I will disclose a bonus feature for you to cut savings by 100% and even get some positive return with your washing machine. This video is presented to you by the German engineer, your channel for money, savings, efficiency and growth. If you find this information useful, hit the like button and if you want to see more videos, subscribe to my channel to make sure you are not missing out on any update. There are many different parts inside a washing machine, but only four of them tell you everything about how it runs and how you can reduce your energy bill. There is the visible part, the so-called drum, which is carrying your laundry. And there are also hidden parts running the machine in the background, which are motor, pump and heater. The motor is driving the rotation of the drum to make sure water, washing detergent and the laundry are mixed together according to the washing program. The pump is pushing the required water through the heater and into the drum. The heater is increasing the temperature of the water to the level required for your chosen washing program. It is the part that consumes most energy and we will get to that shortly. Having these basics in mind, we can now dive into the 8 tricks to save electricity from your next batch of laundry onwards. Trick number 1. Temperature. The heater, introduced earlier, is the part that consumes most energy during your laundry. When you wash at a temperature of 30 degrees Celsius compared to 60 degrees Celsius, your saving is 70% according to a data analysis done by German energy company Entega.de. Are you washing already at 30 degrees Celsius? Great choice! But there is a way to save even more. For example, if you use a hot water tap from your home heating system, you can minimize the work of the electric heating element in your washing machine and therefore save even more. Number 2. Full loads only. If you run your washing machine only half full, you consequently need twice as many runs for your laundry and therefore you consume double the amount of energy. If you don't have the amount of clothes to fill the drum, you may consider to combine loads with a roommate, a neighbor or a family member. This way you can save up to 50%. Number 3. Quick wash. If you are not so keen to share your laundry with someone else, this trick might serve you well. There is a big misunderstanding about the quick wash program. While it is understood as more energy consuming, that is only half of the story. Let me break it down for you briefly. Quick wash runs shorter and therefore the motor and water pump use less energy. Because of this shorter program, the water has to be warmed up faster, which causes the heater to consume more energy. This makes the overall consumption more expensive. This means if you can run this program with either cold water or if you use the warm water from your house heating system, you can save money successfully. This can be applied to all laundry loads that are not very dirty. 4. Echo program. Most modern washing machines have this function already. It uses lower temperature, less water and lower rotation of the drum to achieve the same laundry results as a standard program. According to ecotest.de, you can save 50% of your electricity with this mode. The downside is that it takes 3 to 5 hours and therefore requires some planning if you choose this option. 5. Avoid dryer. Some washing machines have a dryer function included. Independent if you dry your laundry 
in an integrated or a separated dryer, you are consuming very large amount of electricity. Do you remember the example from the introduction? The heating element is using most of the electrical energy for your washing machine. The same applies for drying as heat generation is one of the most expensive use of electrical energy. Therefore, it doubles your cost per load of laundry. The best way to dry your laundry is on the line where no energy is used. 6. Nitrate Some energy provider offer a cheaper nitrate or a so-called off-peak tariff for your electricity. Check your contract and see if this also applies to you. If not, you might reach out and renegotiate a more favorable rate. If you have the rate secured, plan your laundry during the time when your cost is at its lowest. The savings are depending on your individual tariff and can range between 20 and 60%. 7. Switch off once your laundry is done, many models of washing machines do not switch off automatically. Further, if your machine has a digital display, which is always switched on, then you consume power 24 hours a day for 365 days a year. This is the so-called standby power. Switching off the device or pulling the plug helps you to save unnecessary energy loss. If you like to understand more about standby power and what other household devices drag your electricity bill, check out my other video about hidden energy drainers, which I will link at the end of this video. And the last one, number 8, new washing machine. Washing machines are, as any other technical product, improving continuously over time. If your machine is 20 years and older, you can save 65% of electricity on average by replacing with a new model of the same size. This modernization is caused by more efficient motors, heating systems and pumps, as well as updated drums and programs. Two important remarks when choosing a new device. First, make sure you select the highest possible energy class. And second, select the capacity measured in kilogram as close as possible to your personal needs. Is there any saving trick that has not yet been considered here? Or do you have questions to it? Leave a comment below and share your thoughts. Here is the overview of all 8 tricks, ranked according to their saving potential. The first is switch off with 20% savings. The next one is quick wash. It has a range of savings between 20 and 30%. Then there is the nitrate with a savings of 20 up to 60%. This is a large range, but it reflects the variety of individual tariffs depending on your electricity provider. With 50% savings, we have full loads, eco program, and avoid dryer. The second best saving cuts your bill by 65% and can be achieved by a new washing machine, considering your model is around 20 years old. And the best saving with 70% comes from washing with lower temperature. Not all of the tricks can be applied at the same time. For example, you cannot run Echo and Quick Wash. But adding many of the saving tricks together, you can achieve a savings rate of 90% and more. And here is the bonus as promised in the beginning. In trick number two, I propose the idea to add laundry from a roommate, a neighbor or a family member to fill your washing machine and thereby share the cost. Take this example further and consider doing the laundry for others, charging a small fee for your service. If you know people that bring their laundry to a laundromat, 
You might check prices there and you get an idea of how much you could charge per load. Or if you have people in your neighborhood that work full day and would appreciate a simple support with their laundry for a small fee. With a few washing machines per month you could earn a small return and by that cut the total spending of your washing machine to zero. Let's quickly recap the key learnings. First, four main parts of a washing machine were introduced. Second, eight saving tricks were explained in detail. And last, the tricks were ranked from lowest to highest saving potential. If you find the video useful, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you will not miss out on any update. This video was presented to you by The German Engineer, your channel for money, saving, efficiency and growth. Are you curious how to cut your energy bill further? Check out my other videos on this channel to help you maximize your savings.